how much money do you need for the Spanish non-lucrative visa? That's what I'm trying to find out. Does it have to be in a lump sum in the bank? Lump sum. Is that Chinese food? Or can it be just your pension? I'm not that old. Stick around and you'll find out. Welcome to You 2 Spain. Let's dance. <laughs> Hi, I'm Scats, and here on YouTube Spain, on YouTube, and on our website, youtubespain.com, I help you discover how to move to Spain with the help of up to date information and links to all of the organizations and documents you need, and with the help of specialists on the front line of immigration, bring you what you need to make your Spanish dreams come true. I dream of specialists and experts. Well, that's great because all of the information on here comes from them. Oh, I'm going all gooey. Settle down. Let's talk about the money you need for the non-lucrative visa for Spain. Okay, I'm all ears. The amount is set each year based on something called IPREM. What's that? It's the amount of money the Spanish government says you need to live on without the need for state assistance. Oh, and how much is it? This year, 2022, it's 6,948 euros and 24 cents. Oh, fair enough. But because you're not an EU citizen... Brexit! Exactly. So for the non-lucrative visa, you need four times EPREM per year for a single person. That's nearly 28,000 euros! Well done. That was quick maths. I'm mental at arithmetic. So I see. Now, if you're a couple applying together, you only need to add one more EPREM to make five times the amount altogether. So about 35,000 euros then. Correct. And it's just one more EPREM for each other family member. Like children. Yes. So you've got to have all that stashed in the bank as a lump. Having it as savings in a bank account is one way of doing it, yes. What's the other way? It's called passive income, which means income that's not from employment because you can't work on the non-lucrative visa. But what's passive income? Well, it can be state pension or private pension or money from investments or rental income from a property, for example. What if I've got savings and passive income? That's what most people have who apply for the non-lucrative visa. So work out the annual amount you get from your pension, say, then combine that with your savings. Okay, and what's this about needing twice as much in the bank? The initial residency visa is for one year. But if you want to stay in Spain, you'll need to renew your residency for the following two years and then again for years four and five. So you'll need twice as much to cover each of those two periods. What, you have to double it up each time? No, you just need enough for two years each time. So if I'm a single person, I need 56,000 euros in the bank in savings for the renewal. Yes. And bear in mind that if you're not retired and don't have any passive income, you'll need money to live on as well, so that you've still got at least 56,000 euros in the bank for when you renew for years four and five. And what happens after that? Do I have to keep the money in there forever? No. After five years, you can apply for permanent residency and the financial requirement is less and you gain the right to work if you want. Hang on, do I have to double the amount I've got if I've got just passive income? No, because with a pension, for example, you're getting money each month. And two years is twice as many months as one year. So you're getting twice as much in two years anyway. It's already doubled up. Ah, I get it. Excellent. But what about if I've got both? If I've got passive income and savings, do I still have to double the savings? Yes, but just the savings part, not the passive income. How do I work out how much I need? Depends on how much of your income is savings and how much is passive. But think about it like this. Your passive income in years two through five is probably going to be the same as in year one. So, if in year one you needed 10,000 euros in savings to make up the 28,000 euros you need, when you renew, you just double that savings part to 20,000 euros. Okay, so how much is that in pounds or dollars? Ah, very good question. And this is where you need to be thinking ahead even more, because it depends on the exchange rate between the currencies. At the moment, this is early July 2022, the exchange rate for the British pound to the euro is about 1.16. So to get your 28,000 euros when you exchange, you need about 24,000 pounds, 
or $29,000. Right, so if I've got £24,000 in my bank right now and I'm moving to Spain in a few months, I'll be all right, will I? Well, back in April, you only needed about £23,000 to make your €28,000. So now the exchange rate has gone down, you need another £1,000. If the rate keeps on going down, you'll need even more. Is that what's going to happen? I want to buy a house in Spain as well. Mm, No one knows for sure what the rate is going to be in a few months' time but the more money you need to exchange the more you could lose out if it goes down so it's really important to sort it out soon well how do i do that i haven't sold my house in the uk yet so i haven't got all the money and i haven't got my spanish bank account yet to transfer it to it's okay there's still a way to organize it i've got some friends who can help you straight away are they experts and specialists they are and they're very friendly and helpful too all you need to do is to get a free account with them and you can speak to your own personal advisor who'll be able to sort it all out for you. Oh, that's a relief then. How do I speak to them? There's a link to their company in the video description below and also on our website. U2Spain.com That's right. The company is called Smart Currency Exchange and if you use the special link, you'll be helping U2Spain to keep making videos to help you. And it doesn't cost you a penny. It's a win-win. It is. Do I get a special prize? You get peace and love and a big hug from me. Bleeding hippie. Yeah. Any more questions? Yes, I have. If I'm on my first year on my non-lucrative visa, can I switch it for a working visa or a self-employment visa? That's a very good question. It is possible. How do I do that then? I'll tell you about that in another video. Oh! And there's loads more information on this channel, on the midweek videos and on the Saturday live shows with the specialists and on the Monday live money show too. Ooh, you're a busy lad. You're not kidding. I'm not. Say goodbye, Walter. Goodbye, Walter. Who's Walter? That's you, you div. I know. Watch these videos next. They'll be appearing down here very soon. All right, then. Bye. Bye. Let's dance.